First on four tonight, a CBS4 investigation uncovered new details confirming one man is linked to two murders in Harlingen. Derek Garcia spoke with the families whose lives will never be the same. And Derek, you've been covering Anthony Elif III's cases for three years and have exclusive new clues police are investigating. Yeah, hey, Chris, this case continues to get more graphic and disturbing. Anthony Elif III was already in jail for the cold-blooded killing of a so-called friend. Now he's the only suspect in the murder of his long-distance lover. One man is linked to bullets, bloodshed, and broken hearts. Anthony Elif III is sitting in jail for two murders. New court records we've obtained show that women in his life share chilling confessions, including a local ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, and his first alleged victim, Aileen Loera, the Corpus Christi long-distance lover who investigators believe was murdered when she came to visit him for her birthday. She, uh, she didn't want to leave him. Roli Loera is like a big brother to Aileen. We shared the chilling details of what investigators found at the Hudson Hotel in Harlingen. According to the court documents, she and Elif checked into the hotel on September 11th, 2019, the same day she sent her last text message to her mom, Rosie. He was, he was, he was a controlling person. He, he could have a phone, but she couldn't. Documents say the possessive behavior turned violent when Elif learned she had been having a sexual relationship with another man. Eileen's mom filed a missing persons report with the Corpus Christi Police Department, naming Elif as the last person she was with. No leads and no answers. We have a lot of information that basically points to him. It's pretty clear cut. He was the shooter. On February 6, 2020, a single point blank gunshot to the chest killed 41 year old Guillermo Garcia, also known as Willie G. Harlingen police say Elif pulled the trigger during an argument over a parking spot at this home off of Adams Landing. It's, it's been very difficult speaking to everyone involved uh, what the true motive was. The same night, a witness called the tip line, telling investigators Elif confessed to pulling the trigger and described the weapon used as a chrome Colt 45 with silver brown grips to the T. Four days later, Elif was booked into the Cameron County Garisala's Rucker Detention Center for murder. When the news broke, police linked him to the missing woman after another tip came in, urging police to look behind Elif's grandparents' auto repair shop in San Benito. New court records confirm 46 bones, a human skull, a tarp, a blanket, a white wire grate, a towel, and one apparent projectile were found in a shallow grave. Noticeably missing from room 42, a white wire grate from the mini fridge and a closet door. Investigators found a grate in the grave and the door in a truck parked at his grandparents' property. From jail, Elif asked to make a call to his ex-wife and son. His ex-wife told investigators she knew about the murder and burial but was afraid of him. His local girlfriend confessed she knew of the murder and burial as well. It could have brought closure to Eileen's mom, Rosie, who died before the DNA results could prove her daughter was buried in a shallow grave. Are you religious at all? Like, do you go to church or anything? I go to church, yes. Yeah. Um, do you think that they're together right now, your aunt and, and your cousin? I think she was her, her, her mom, her dad, her grandpa, her, her aunt. Her, her older brother. I do believe that. And Harlingen investigators say that they found the gun used to kill Willie G wrapped in a T-shirt behind another relative's home, but it's unclear if the projectile in the grave is a 45 caliber bullet. We have more in-depth coverage right now on this case on ValleyCentral.com. But for the CBS4 Investigates, I'm Derek Garcia. Elif is set to stand trial for Garcia's murder on August 15th.